Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick. This week is actually the first weekend of December, which means, drum roll please, it's time for my weekly Christmas giveaway. If you've been watching my previous videos, you know that I'll be doing a weekly giveaway this month. This month has four weeks or four weekends, which means I will be doing four sets of giveaways and I will be announcing each giveaway every weekend. Today is the first weekend, which means I'll be announcing what I'll be giving away this weekend and the mechanics of the giveaway. But if you've been following me on Instagram or on my Facebook page, I have already showed the items I'll be giving away. But before we go into the giveaway, let us start with this week's video. For this week, my plan is to do some sort of brush pen review. I'll be trying a brand of brush pens that I haven't tried before. So here are the brush pens. The brush pens that I'll be trying today are the Molotov Aqua Ink Pump Soft Lighters. So I've been seeing these brush pens being used by some international brush lighting artists and I really really like their work using this. Well, I really like their work in general, but I've been wanting to try these brush pens for a while now. When I went to Art Bar to find this brush pen, the price tag shocked me. <laughs> it is actually very very expensive here. I can't remember exactly how much these brush pens cost but I think it's around 1,400 pesos for one brush pen. So when I saw the price tag, I decided not to try these at all because they're very, very expensive. But when I went to Singapore a few months back, I saw these brush pens at Overjoyed. It only cost a fraction of how much it costs here. So I immediately got three. They're not cheap, but they are way, way, way cheaper there compared to here. That's why I decided to get three, just three. I think each costs about 9 or 10 SGD. I'm not sure, but after this video, I'm going to look up the price and put it here. So that is how much each Motelo Graphics Aqua in Pump Softliner costs. After doing my lettering work, I am going to share with you how I find these brush pens, if it's something I'm going to recommend or not. And I'll be sharing you my experience on using this for the first time. I already have my big sheet of paper here all set up. I also cut out some guides to make it easier for me to draw the big letters onto my big sheet of paper. And I also measured everything, if you can see here. I did some math to make sure that all of my letters will fit in my big sheet of paper. So I hope you're excited to watch the process and find out how I find these expensive Motelo brush pens. So without further ado, Let's go!
and we're back. I hope you enjoyed watching the process video for this lettering work. So about this lettering work, I didn't really plan on adding ink or paint splatters, but when I was activating this purple brush pen earlier, I accidentally shook it. While the cap is off, I got ink all over the paper. That is why I decided to add more ink splatter to balance everything out. So after trying these expensive Motolo Aqua Ink Pump Soft Liner brush pens, here are my thoughts on this. Honestly, I didn't like these brush pens that much for several reasons. I'm not really sure if it's because it is my first time using it, but for other brands of brush pen, even if it is my first time using it, I am able to tell if I like it or not. So I would say that I didn't really like this. First is it is very messy. So you have to shake it and then you have to pump it to make sure that there is enough ink on your tip. When I started using this, I didn't realize that I have to do that. So the first few brushes that I did, the ink is very, very light. You really have to keep on shaking it and pumping it if you want to have a lot of ink when you're going to write using this. The ink is not consistent all throughout because it really depends on how much you pump these brush pens or how much you shake these brush pens. That is one reason why I didn't like this. Another reason is the tip. Maybe I'm just not used to writing using this type of tip. The tip is long and narrow, unlike other brush pens that I normally use. It is really, really hard for me to control my thick and thin lines cleanly. I'm not sure if it's just my hand or if it's really difficult to control the thick and thin lines. If you notice, there's this cylinder right below the tip ink gets to that cylinder so when you're going to do your brush strokes you're going to get your thick brush stroke and there's going to be a thin line because plastic cylindrical thing did i mention that it's messy i think i mentioned that it's messy another reason why i don't really like these brush pens is that i'm a little bit disappointed with the colors of the pen. The colors that you'll get from these pens are very, very far from the color on the pen. Initially, I thought these three colors will work together. Turns out that this blue that I got is very, very, very light. If you look at the ink, it doesn't look like it's going to be very, very light, but when you use it on paper, you get a very, very, very light, almost white ink, which is a bummer. That's why I wasn't able to use this color for that work. So is there anything that I like about these brush pens? One thing that I really really like about this brush pen is that you're able to create really really nice ink splatter which I accidentally did. So would I recommend these brush pens to you? At this moment, I wouldn't really recommend it first because it costs so much. It is very very expensive compared to the other brands available. But I think this one's expensive because you can refill it I think. Another thing I like about this is that you could see how much ink you have left because one of my biggest problem with other brush pens is that when I'm working on something really really big like this, I couldn't tell if my brush pen has enough ink for me to use for a big lettering work. That's another thing that I really really appreciate about the design is you could see how much ink you have left. So that is my review. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this lettering process of this lettering work. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, especially now it's December. And if you've been watching my previous videos, you'll know that I'll be doing a weekly Christmas giveaway for the whole month of December. Every weekend of December, I'll be hosting a giveaway. So December this year has four weekends. So I'll be doing four sets of giveaways. The first one will be announced now. And then next week's giveaway will be announced on next week's video. Follow me on Instagram because there are some weeks wherein I'll be hosting the giveaway on Instagram. Some weeks will be hosted here on my YouTube channel. My first weekend Christmas giveaway will be hosted on my Instagram account. Here's a quick look on what I'll be giving away for this weekend. So make sure you head over to my Instagram account, link will be below, and then look for my giveaway post, read the mechanics. I think the instructions will be as simple as follow my Instagram account and then tag your friends on the comment section and then I'm going to randomly pick a winner and then I'll announce a winner on next week's video before I announce week two's giveaway. I think that's it. I'll see you next week for another video. Bye! I hope you can't hear the dogs in the background. It's so annoying.